All right, here now to react is the House Education Committee Chairwoman, one of the most fantastic people in Congress, the wonderful, the great, the on fire Virginia Fox. Virginia, good to see you. Get, oh, great to see as, you too, Sean. As you know, Dagan. you are one of my favorite members of Congress. Tell me what you think about this lawsuit um, in this student loan forgiveness proposal by Biden. Well, well, we are all hoping and praying that the Supreme Court is going to make the right decision on this. Uh, as Dagan just said, President Biden is not a king. The founders made it clear they didn't want a king, and they put most of the powers for this country in the hands of the Congress, and that's the way they should be. What he's doing is totally overstepping his bounds. He's distorting a law that was passed to help firefighters and policemen as a result of 9-11 into, into paying off the loans, using the American people to do that of wealthy people. It is wrong, 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 illegal, illegal, illegal. Congresswoman, I, I want to bring this up because we keep talking about the Supreme Court hearing this case about a bailout to the tune of $400 billion. But there's already been a student loan bailout to the tune of $200 billion over the last three years. There has been a moratorium on making student loan payments, and Sean calls me a dog with a bone. But it, this moratorium on making student loan payments also was a pause on interest accruing on that debt. It's been going on for three years, but when you defer a loan with no interest accruing, it declines in real value by the inflation rate. Right. That has cost the American people about $200 billion so far. And that will continue, and it runs through at least the middle of this year. And that is a cost borne by people who do not have student loans. And it is an atrocity, and it did start under President Trump, and it's been continued and continued and continued under President Biden. And there will never be any recourse for that. That's right. And Dagan, you stay being that dog with a bone because the potential of this is to cost the American people $1 trillion altogether. But that's not the only cost. It means that in the future, colleges and universities are going to continue to raise the cost of tuition and fees. And those students taking out loans this year, what do you think? They're assuming their loans are going to be paid for in four or five years. This is a never-ending cost to the American people. And you're so right. Only 13% of the American people owe any loans at all. So 87% of us, many of whom did not go to college, chose not to go to college, have worked all their lives or went to college and paid off their loans or never took out a loan. Those are the responsible people. When you sign on the dotted line for a loan, you are expected to pay it back. This is irresponsibility, total irresponsibility on the part of the Biden administration. So, I'm, Virginia, I'm happy that you are still at the, the Education Committee because I don't know if you remember this. The first time I went to the, to the conference in the Congress as a guy who's running for Congress, I'll never forget Virginia Fox because I was talking in the back of the conference a little bit loud and she turned around and she yelled at me in front of all these members of Congress. And I'm like, that is one woman you do not mess with because she will, she'll come for you. And you know what, Virginia? You're going to come for these people who have these bad policies. You're looking out for taxpayers. And uh, America appreciates that, Virginia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. I will tell you, I am here to represent the true forgotten people, yes, you are. not those that they claim to be forgotten. We're here to serve the American people. And Sean, I love you. You did a great job and you're doing a fabulous job now at bringing in the right subjects. And Dagan, keep being that dog with the bone. <laughs> I'm sure, I guarantee you, Virginia, she will. She won't I let it go. I can only hope, and I hope I don't overstep by saying, Congresswoman, that I, we probably related. <laughs> <laughs> if not by blood, by, by uh, empathy, right? Yeah, by spirit. Yes, ma'am. Virginia by Fox. By spirit. Thank you. Thank you. God bless y'all. God bless.